Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Okay, in our last tutorial, we went over how to easily load brushes by dragging them into your Photoshop workspace. And now I just want to show you how to use them and add them to your projects. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have your brush tool selected. And then you come up and click and drag this down and select the brush that you want to use. And then come back to your workspace. And what you want to do is go ahead and create a layer where you want to add your brush. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the 62 and click on this layer button to add a new layer. I want it underneath the 62 so I'm going to drag this down and select my layer and now I'm actually I'm going to go ahead and make it really as big but not off the screen. If you go if you do create the brush and it's off the screen, I'm going to click this here so I can see all of my tools. If it's off the screen when you make the brush, it will be cut off and you won't be able to easily move it around. And let me show you how that happens. So, I've got my black on top here and you can switch that back and forth. Use the color that you want. You can use any color here. So, you can just choose any color, but I'm going to go ahead and use black. And if I click it and it's a little bit off the screen like this, and then I come up to my move tool, you'll see that my player is actually cut off because it was on the edge. So, I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to come over to my history and I'm going to undo that. So, I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to make sure it's not outside my work area. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And now I can resize and move it around wherever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it. I'd, it's easier to make it too big and then, oops, and then move it than to make it too small because when you stretch it out or something it might be pixelated. So it's just better to make it too big. So let's say I want it here. Basically my brush is in place and I like to anchor it on other things so that it kind of isn't floating out there. Then you can go in and you can make adjustments to it. So I'm double clicking that layer and I'm just going to reduce the opacity and that's all there is to adding it. You can add all kinds of effects to it. You can do a stroke, you can do a color overlay, you can emboss it, you can do any of these things. I, For this one I like to just keep it simple. Let me go ahead and show you then. If you want to you can actually drag this onto other projects or you can just make a new, you can just use the brush on other projects. But let me go ahead and pull this one in and show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and these little bolts. And I'm just going to drag this over. And it's kind of small, so it's really not going to work for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new one for this one. And I want to be sure that it's underneath my text. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer. And you can always move these around later if you want to. And you can reduce the size of your brush with your right and left brackets. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my stamp. I went ahead and clicked. And I'm just going to go ahead and reduce this and drag it over here and press enter and double click it and reduce the opacity. And if I wanted to I could just move it under which, whatever layer I want to but that's basically all there is to it. It's really fun to add to a lot of different templates, any template that we have or anyone has, you can always add these and then it gives it a little bit more specialized 
touch for the actual sport that the person is playing so it's kind of fun have fun with that and I'm gonna do one more tutorial on how I did the effects for the cover of the industrial grunge volume 7 so stay tuned hey that was easy thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.